My name's Alan Hart and today I'm going to show you how to do a magnet cleanse. Now this magnet cleanse is going to be a little bit different than what other people might do. Um, I'm going to actually take some sludge, I'm going to get some sludge that I've got from a previous job and I'm going to put it into this system. So this system's got a brand new boiler on, it's got a Baxi 600 boiler on and I'm going to put a lot of sludge in and we're going to see how the magnet cleanse performs with the sludge that we put into the system. So we're going to connect this magnet cleanse with the Fernox TF1 adapter. Right then, so I've left some sludge on these filters and we're going to use this. I'm going to put this back into this system. It might not be a right lot to be honest, but we've got what we've got. So. I'm just going to put a bit of extra water into the sludge so it's just a little bit easier to put back in. So I'm just going to use the drain off on the boiler just to get a little bit more water out. So I would be better with a funnel but I don't have one so I'm going to try and just use this. So I've put as much of sludge in there as I can, so I'm just going to tighten this back up. I'm going to leave the magnet out of the bottom and I'm going to leave that upside down so hopefully it doesn't catch any sludge in there. And then I'm going to fill the boiler back up now and I'm going to let the boiler run for 10 minutes or so and just let hot water go around and then we're going to connect the magnet cleanse up and then we'll just see, see how it performs. So we're just gonna fill it up now. So I'm gonna put this boiler into duration mode just to get the sludge to go around. So I'm gonna open the Amiga filter, just take the pressure out of the system and then we're gonna connect the flushing adapter on there and then we're gonna connect the uh, magnet cleanse onto that. So what I'm going to do with this is, because I know there might be some water in here, I'm going to connect the hoses on first. And then I'm going to connect the hoses to the magnet cleanse. So if you remember from our last video, the hose, the one with the drain off, I connect to the bottom. Because that one's got the arrow on. So then we're just going to remove this filter. Probably get a drink of water out of there. And we're going to put the magnet lens on onto the adapter. So I'm just going to repressurize the boiler. You can see there black water going into there already. I don't know if you can see that. So we've got this magnet cleanse connected now. We filled it up with water. We've got the pressure, the pressure's back on. So now I'm gonna turn the boiler on and I'm gonna put the boiler into deaeration mode. So I'm gonna put the boiler into deaeration mode. So now we'll start to see the water going around this. So the boiler is now trying to get the air out of the boiler, out of the heat exchanger. So I don't know if you can see that there, but that hose is quite dark. And then when you look at that one, it's a lot cleaner. Look at the hoses, look at the difference. So what you've got there, you've got your black sludge coming from your system. That's going round. It's going into your magna cleanse and then if you have a look there it's coming out of the magna cleanse and it's coming out clean so 
So that just shows how good these magnet lenses are. There is additional products that you can get with the magnet lens. So you can get a VibraClean and with the VibraClean you go around your radiators. So this is only a little system this, it's only one radiator and a little bit of pipe work. So I should imagine it'll, it'll clean it very quickly. But I'm going to leave that on for a little while. So when you were doing this you'd also put some cleaner in. So if we look on these tubes now we can see that both of them are a lot cleaner already and it's only been on a minute or two. So just in that short time the Magna Cleanse has collected all that sludge or a lot of that sludge back into its filter. So it's an amazing product to be honest. It, I think it's the best flushing kit that you can use on a central heating system. The best magnetic flushing kit. I know that other companies such as Furnox make equivalent um, flushing devices. In my opinion they're not as good as the Magna Cleanse. I think the Magna Cleanse is by far the best. So if you have a look there, the hoses are clean now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to connect my hose pipe on. Onto, the, onto there, and I'm going to drain it all down. And then I'm going to do a mains flush through the system to get any debris back out again. So I'm going to turn all this off now and we're going to have a look at the filter and see what's, see what's being caught. So now we can just have a look at the magnets. So just a little bit from the first one. just a little bit on the second one yep. so we could clearly see the black sludge going into this and then we could see the other pipe that was coming out clean just goes to show there's not that much on there really just goes to show how bad a little bit of sludge can be for a system if you like our videos please give us a thumbs up also subscribe Thank you for taking the time to watch our video using an AD magnet lens with a Fernox Amiga filter adapter. And just a little bit on the second one. Yep. Just a little bit on the second one. Yep.